Dear student, due to coronavirus, school started online classes for your study. So you can subscribe Golden Flower Palia YouTube channel, like and press the bell icon. Hello students, uh, today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is a relation between electric potential and electric field intensity or simply we call it as electric field. Okay, so we need to find out a relation between two of them and the term that we are going to use for that it is potential gradient. Okay, so simply uh, we are going to find out the relationship between electric field and potential gradient. Okay, so it's a very important topic because uh, many things which depends upon this property of electric field and one of the unit of electric field that uh, we are taking from this definition. Okay, so here it is uh, the relation between relation between electric field and potential gradient okay so here we need to find out the relation between two of them and for that i am going to take a source charge plus q which is at capped at point O. Okay, so due to this charge, we have this point A and point B, which is are at dr distance apart from each other. And here we are going to shift a charge Q naught from point B to point A. But because we are going to drive the relation between electric field and potential gradient, uh, we need to know what is the potential at point A and point B. Because whenever you are going to shift any charge in electric field from one point to another point, there we have to see the force and the source charge and what is the work done to shift this charge from one point to another point. Okay. So, as much close the point is lying to the shows charge, more will be the potential on that charge. Okay. So, at point A, it is closely lying to the shows charge. So, we are considering that the potential at point A is A, V plus dV. Okay. And B, it is lying little away from this charge Q. So, here we can write it as the potential at point B is V. Okay, now we have to shift the charge Q naught from point B to point A. Okay, first we will take, find out the work done in terms of force and then afterward we will find out the work done in terms of electric potential difference. Okay, so two type of work done we have to calculate for this and then afterward we are going to compare this work done one is by force and then another by potential difference and there we can uh, get the equation which is relating the electric field to the electric potential okay so now we are going to shift this charge q naught from point b to point a and we must be knowing that what is the force applied on charge q naught due to this charge plus q so suppose the force is applied, suppose the electric field that is produced by charge Q, that is constant because they are very closely aligned to this charge Q. So let this force experienced by this Q naught, it is Q naught E. Okay. So Q naught E charge, sorry force, it is applied on Q naught and against this electric force, against this electric field E, we need to shift this charge from B to A. Okay. Electric forces is applying to away and we are moving the charge toward the source charge. So now the force 
without producing an acceleration there it is a uh, certain assumption for that when we are shifting one charge from one point to another point you should not produce any acceleration so that the charge is not producing itself its own electric field okay so otherwise the calculation is going to be more complicated when this electric field it is going to be combined with the electric field of this charge so without producing any acceleration you have to shift this charge q uh, from point b to point a q not we are going to shift from point b to point a without producing any acceleration and that can be done only when the force applied by the external agent it is equal to the electric force that is applied by the electric field okay so the similar force we are going to apply similar force we are going to apply to shift this q not from point b to point a is that clear so now this much force we have to apply and the distance that is traveled that is dr but the force that we are going to apply will be opposite to this force so this force by the external agent we will take in negative sign so what is the work done to shift the charge q not from point b to a to shift the charge q not from point b to a against electric force against electric force without producing any acceleration okay keep remember this thing the similar force you have to apply to shift this charge as much force the electric field is applying on this charge q not okay so similar force we are going to apply so we will take this force in negative sign so what is the work done because the distance is very small this is infinite as you many small distance dr so the work done will also be infinite as you many small so dw is equal to minus f dr okay so what is f that is q not e dr okay q not dr only minus i have taken uh, uh, previous uh, earlier uh, because uh, the force that is applied by the external agent will be uh, opposite to the direction of this force and will be equal in the magnitude okay so q not e dr that is the work done to shift this q not charge from point b to point a so take it take it as equation number 1 okay now we have some another way to find out to calculate this work done that is in terms of potential difference so now we are knowing that what is the potential at point b and point a so point a is having the potential difference v plus dv sorry not potential difference it is potential so at point a there it is a potential v plus dv and at b there it is a potential v okay so now we have need to calculate this charge q not from v having potential v to the point a having potential v plus dv it is having more potential it is having less potential so according to the definition of electric potential according to definition of electric potential the work done is equal to potential difference between the two points between two points into charge that we are going to shift okay this we have already studied this uh, relation v is equal to v is equal to w upon q the same relation i am going to apply here potential difference between point a and b that is va minus vb and the charge that we are shifting that is q not so va minus vb it is v plus dv minus v 
into q naught okay so here we have dw is equal to dv q naught into dv q naught into dv equation number 2 so now we have work done on the same process by the two different ways one in the terms of force and another in the terms of potential so work done will be same because the same charge is being shifted from point b to point a uh, to the same distance and in the same electric field so we are going to compare these two equations comparing equation 1 and 2 comparing equation 1 and okay so now we have minus q not e dr it is equal to q not dv so q not and q not is going to be cancel so e will be equal to minus dv upon dr okay dv upon dr so here potential per unit length potential per unit distance that is called potential gradient we call this quantity as potential gradient so here we can write as electric field e is equal to negative of potential gradient okay keep remember this thing the electric field is equal to negative of potential gradient okay and what is the potential gradient it is electric potential per unit distance okay potential gradient is potential gradient is electric potential difference per unit distance okay per unit length or per unit distance that is called potential gradient and it is equal to minus dv upon dr we are representing potential gradient by dv upon dr and electric field it is equal to this one so what is electric field electric field is a kind of vector quantity what is electric potential it is a kind of scalar quantity so what kind of quantity is potential gradient so potential gradient is equal to the electric field okay so electric field it is a vector quantity so potential gradient is also the vector quantity and the negative sign here signifies that the potential gradient having the direction opposite to the electric field intensity okay so <clears throat> because e is equal to minus dv upon dr so electric potential gradient is opposite to the direction of electric field intensity and it is equal in the magnitude to the electric field intensity okay so it is clear uh, using this definition using this uh, equation we can find out the another unit of electric field and what is that electric field unit of electric field unit of e and potential uh, we are measuring with volt and distance we are measuring with meter so now we have another unit for electric field intensity that is volt per meter or simply you can say that electric potential gradient having volt per meter okay so 1 newton per coulomb is equal to 1 volt per meter these two units Uh, are the of same quantity that is electric field, okay? Or simply you call as electric field intensity. So this was for today. And next topic: electric potential uh, surfaces, equipotential surfaces. We will discuss in the next video. Thank you. Do self study at home. and stay home save lives